Good morning, my gorgeous Aquarius. <clears throat> Welcome to Lucky Scorpion. I hope you had an amazing holiday. Lots of rest, relaxation, and fun. And I hope you have an amazing new year. I hope you find time to call and spend time with the people you really love and enjoy the most. I am so sorry. It's been a while. I was a little bit under the weather, but I am back. So I'm excited to just dive right in. This is going to be a reading for my Aquarius at for the whole next year, for 2024, month by month, starting in January, up until December of 2024. Okay, so if you like what you hear and you see, please subscribe and like, it's free. And if you want to show that you're there and you care, <laughs> please comment and share. It's greatly appreciated. Now we're just gonna dive right in. <clears throat> so for your month of January, we're gonna do a little bit of tarot, then I'm gonna clarify, and then we're gonna do, we're gonna look at some other cards, some oracle cards and, and such for each individual month. Okay, what you need to do, what you need to look into and all that stuff. I mean, we are even going to get a message from your loved one, what they're thinking and feeling, okay, each month, 2024. So for January, we have the hangman. Now, this is things not uh, picking up, maybe things feeling very stagnant for you right now, Aquarius. Um, just seeing things from different perspectives. Feeling like you're on a pause, a hold. <clears throat> Let's see why that is. In January, I feel like for some of my Aquarius, is the it's because you have some time off of work, taking a little break. Um, <clears throat> your work could be seasonal, and therefore you are taking some. You have some time off, um, you know, depending on where you are in the country. Um, yeah. Others are just taking a nice long vacation and break here. Mm -hmm. January. What is coming up in January for my Aquarius? My gorgeous Aquarius. I'm so excited. Let's, let's dive in, shall we? Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh, so maybe this kind of... It feels like in January it would be kind of like bored discontent a bit yeah and i really do feel like it's like you may be learning something new or putting in the work in january or it's the lack of being able to work that is really making you feel bored and discontent but i'm also feeling like you feel like your money is not piling up fast enough i see for some of my aquariuses in january there's something that you really want to purchase um could be a vehicle uh it, it's like you're it's like you're trying to save up for a big purchase i'm thinking a vehicle i do see a vehicle um but for some of my queries could be anything really i just feel like you feel like it's not coming in fast enough you're not accumulating enough pentacles fast enough here in january <clears throat> yeah, that would explain why you feel like everything is in suspension. <sighs> January. Okay. Hmm. It looks like a plan to travel has been postponed. There's just too many things on your plate right now. Either you can't make it away because of time or you can't make it away because of finances. Something has come up and stopped you from traveling in the, in the month of January. So sorry about that, Aquarius. So for January, let's get into 
the, the cards that I pulled. I'm going to read them out for you. Oh, I forgot the affirmation card. But next time. <laughs> okay, so we have a service. I feel good when I can help others. Perhaps you're taking January to help others, or maybe that's why you cannot travel as you anticipated or planned, because you've decided to help somebody. And uh, that could be a really good reason. But nevertheless, you enjoy helping others. And um, it seems like the month of January you'll be doing that. I love you unconditionally. Now, this is the person on your mind, maybe the partner that you're with at this current time in January, that this is what they're thinking and feeling, that they love you unconditionally. We have, you will manifest what you need. Express gratitude as your plans have already come to pass. Trust that your angels are bringing you the assistance you need. Very beautiful. Have faith. It is coming, Aquarius. Everything you want, need, and desire is coming. Ooh, in divine guidance. Yes, for those of my Aquariuses that are in a relationship in January, it looks like there is going to be, it's going to be even more like of a stronger connection. It's going to get deeper. You're going to, for those who've been in a relationship for a long time, it's going to rekindle. Magic is going to, the magic of the relationship is going to enheighten. Mm -hmm. And I feel like for, for those who are single, my Aquariuses that are single, this is a fantastic time in January to actually meet someone, and that's it's being divinely guided to you. They are being divinely guided to you, or vice versa. Mystic, keep charging ahead and don't take no for an answer. Expect miraculous solutions to appear. Yay! miracles could happen in january follow the path of your soul do not allow anyone or anything to stop you definitely a lot of messages here aquarius to keep charging ahead do not back down do not give up and yes that is it for january now we're going to head on into February and see what's going on there for my Aquariuses on 2024 February. It's a romantic month for some if you celebrate Valentine's Day. We have the Temperance. Yes, the Temperance. This is a careful control of volatile factors. Volatile factors resulting in successful conclusion. Mm -hmm. For a lot of my Aquariuses, this is like a harmonious relationship with the temperance. This is uh, finding balance. Um, um, it's like receiving what you what you give and giving what you receive. Mm -hmm. It's very equal, balanced, beautiful. Mm -hmm. This is also February, a time when um, wishes can come true with the temperance being there. Let's see, what else? My Aquarius is in February. Yeah. I feel like if there is some kind of breakup or some kind of disconnect in February, it's going to cause a little bit of regret. Yeah, regret, discomfort, <laughs> um, solitude, being bored, disappointed. Perhaps you um, ended a friendship or ended, up a, ended a relationship of some sort and the person that you did this with is regretful. 
feel like it could be a water sign in the month of February. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's like finding out some truth that has caused you to have some mental strain, like some confusion in this relationship. Perhaps they lied. Perhaps you found out something that was hidden. A uh, very strong energy of water here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpion. Uh, nevertheless, uh, the truth comes out in February. Perhaps then you forgive them or you continue to keep this relationship. Um, continue to keep it like in the past. And uh, in February, there is going to be some truth spoken. Um, perhaps a secret or a lie coming out. Perhaps uh, I feel for some, someone expresses their deep emotions and feelings. They're no longer hiding it for you, Aquarius. In February. And it becomes a very harmonious relationship. This could be friendship or romantic. For some it will be romantic, for some it will be friendship. What else for my Aquarius is in February? Ooh, it could be getting a very lump. Oh, an inheritance. Some of my Aquariuses could be getting <clears throat> an inheritance from someone very close to them that have passed away. Uh, it looks like it, it might have been delayed or there might have been some issues with it, but come February, it looks like it's going to be released. For those of you who lose someone in February, I am so sorry. Loss is never, it's just something you never get used to, you know, no matter how many losses there's been in your family. seems in February, due to this loss, there's going to be a lot of arguments, a lot of feelings of greedy people, a lot of people trying to control everything. There's going to be a lot of greedy people around you, Aquarius, fighting every little detail of the loss of this person. Um, in particular that I see the energy here, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Now this could be an older sibling, an uncle. Hmm. Doesn't have to be, but that's what I'm seeing. Now let's see what the advice cards here. Up to say for the month of February, we have death. Um, I am I am learning that endings are merely beginnings, and that is so true, Aquarius. I'm getting confirmation with that one. Oh. For some, this could be a anniversary of someone passing very close to you. Um, but yes, I, I think eventually we all come to understand that there is no ending. Uh, it's merely a beginning, a new beginning transformation, and we will see them again. And they're always with us in spirit. That's one thing that really comforted me when I had so much loss in my family is to know that they're still with us. Especially when we miss them and need them the most. So Spirit wants you to keep that in mind. That death is not an ending. It's merely a beginning.
what your loved one that you're thinking about at this time is thinking and feeling is I know I was a distraction from your pain. The person you're with or was with feels like that they were just a distraction for your pain. You are protected. You are safe within my bubble of light. You can proceed with confidence. Now, you may be 39. You may be turning 39 in February. No. <laughs> Not turning 39 in February. Huh? Yeah, possibility. It could be turning 39. You could be 39. Um, there's significance with that letter. With that, Sorry, with that number. For you, Aquarius. I don't know why I'm hearing the name Ray. Ray. Could be Ray, Raymond, Raymond. Mm. If this resonates with you, there's a message in here for you, okay? Children for the month of February. There could be some disagreements with children here, your children, your partner's children. There's some kind of disagreement. There's some, there's some kind of harmonious um, relationship with children in the month of February as well for some. Hmm. Uh, Here's another card for February. I am leading you toward the answer of your prayers. Please listen to and follow the steps. I am communicating through your intuition, thoughts, and dreams. So in February, um, your guides want you to pay attention to your dreams. Write them down if you can, what, what you can remember, if you can remember them. Um, usually you can remember bits and pieces, and as you write them down, it becomes more, you remember more, right? Uh, yeah, so pay attention to that. Signs and synchronicities, uh, numbers, songs, animals. Pay attention to all that, okay? In February especially. Now, here's another card. It says, listen to the eternal song of your soul. So strange, I took from the wrong pile. But everything happens for a reason. So it says, listen to the eternal song of your soul, tune into and learn to trust it. Just love this deck. <clears throat> okay. I mean, to have to dig from this deck for March. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, so going into March now, we have the moon. The moon is like fluctuating emotions. This is something coming to light. Again, it could be like a secret, something hidden. Um, it also means Pisces. Um, hmm, the moon is very mysterious. It also means intuition. It could be using, you're really using your intuition in March as well. There's like, I see two directions in March, two choices, two decisions, two options. And there's a need for making the right choice here. Hmm. You know what? I felt called to take that back. Start again. So that's what I'm going to do. Have judgment out there, yeah. See, judgment is a card of like two opportunities, like well, an opportunity that is very has a chance to be very lucrative, right? So that falling out is definitely with the moon in March is uh, an amazing opportunity that comes around once in a blue moon. Look out for that in March. This could be work related. Finances, 
but it also could be romantic options here. Yes, the happy emotional message. It looks like you're going to get some good news, uh, Aquarius, from a mother, auntie, grandma, older sister. A very nurturing energy with the uh, Empress here. Very nurturing, loving, creative energy. I feel like it's going to be a great surprise in February, and, sorry, in March. There's going to be something that makes you very happy that you find out. Okay, so also, this happy message could be about a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Huh? Could be about you. Could be a, it could be something to do with you as well, this happy emotional message coming in from a Empress energy. Could come from a King of Swords, which is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, male or female. Nevertheless, March, there's some exciting news coming in. Get ready. It's going to make you very happy, Aquarius. Oh, it's going to be a great surprise. Also, there will be a, a water sign <clears throat> coming in quickly. Yeah, it's a tower, but it's a good tower, you know? You are able to walk away from something that no longer serves you in March. Mm -hmm. It could be from a Leo. You could be walking away from a Leo, Aquarius. You also could be walking away from, for some of my Aquariuses, if in the previous months you were not feeling well, you were ill, you had an injury, it looks like that's going to be completely healed by March. It's great. I like to see that. What else for my Aquariuses for the month for the month of March? What else can you tell us? What else do we need to know for the month of March for my beautiful Aquariuses? Ah, yeah, this is success with uh, learning something new. Um, in March, you might be learning something new. You might be doing some kind of uh, project. Um, something that you needed a lot of courage and strength for. <clears throat> Perhaps it took more time than you thought, but I feel like it's closing, you're finishing it, you've accomplished it in March. Something you've been working on. Mm -hmm. You might have even had to travel uh, for business in March. You might have to travel for business in March. But I feel like your strength has really picked up. Like I said, if there was some kind of illness before the, the months leading up to March, you're definitely going to have the strength and courage to finish what you started but didn't get to complete. And it will be completed in March. Okay. Now I'm going to just grab some advice cards for <clears throat> the month of March. We have judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. So this might be you realizing that um, if you were being a little bit too judgmental with family, friends, even yourself, um, you're not going to be that way. You're going to, you know, take a step back and, and realize everybody has their own timings and stuff for everything. 
You're not going to be too hard on yourself or those you love around you. Now, what your love is thinking or feeling or your person of interest when you're watching this video for March. You came closer. <laughs> you came closer than anyone. Mm. So maybe they had their, their guard up, their heart covered, shielded, and they want you to know that you came closer than anyone to getting those walls down. Embrace this magical moment. You are in the perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles. <clears throat> Allow your wishes to be fulfilled. So it seems like I'm pretty sure February you have a, a wish coming true there. But then now for March, it says, yeah, embrace this magical moment because you are in the perfect energetic space for manifesting miracles. Allow your wishes to be fulfilled. I don't think it's going to stop there in, in February. It's going to continue on into March. Lovely. And that is probably because you're in your manifesting powers. Study, you see? Here in the moon, uh, when we were doing the tarot, it was saying that you're going to accomplish study, you're going to be, um, I mean, like finish something that you were studying or working on a project. And March uh, is, is a very important month for studying, learning, growing. Okay, we have Yvonne. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. Beautiful. Okay, one more. Lost in the ruins of the past, find the way to the present moment and live. Hmm? I think a lot of us Aquarius sometimes get caught in the past dwell on it and if you dwell there too long you can't really fully enjoy um the present now right oh that's not good it's okay to look back every now and then but don't stay there okay that's march and now we have april for april we have the death card but do not freak out i'm getting that it's more transformation it's the ending something, starting something new. Now this could be a breakup. Or it could be a rebirth in a relationship. I see time is very important here with the death card. Um, I'm seeing one of those pocket watches as I look at it. Perhaps something that you've been holding on to for a little bit too long, you're deciding to let go of in April. Mm -hmm. It's definitely transformation here. It's a new beginning in something. I'm hearing like a new lease on life come April. Let's clarify, shall we? Mm. I feel like you could be traveling. <clears throat> you know, like there's two travel cards here and there's a king of pentacles. To me, that's like Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You might have been in a turbulent relationship with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And I feel like you're closing it out. You're ending it. You're putting it behind you. Um, you're deciding to move on from them. I see it's not going to be an easy thing at first. But it will be successful after. This could be you ending a friendship, relationship of some sort, even a business. 
partnership at, at some sort like that. Yeah, is you definitely ending, closing something out, transforming in April. I feel like you put a lot, Aquarius, like a lot of effort. I feel like you, you're closing this out with this Capricorn Taurus Virgo. doesn't have to be, but they have strong energies in that. Um, because there's a lot of pentacles here too, right? Um, I feel like you just felt like you were putting everything in and you were not getting much back. So if you were in a business with this person, Aquarius, you were doing most of the work, like at least 90% of it. So then that's why you decided to close it out, end it, and continue on yourself. Um, this partnership gave you a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights. I feel like there's a lot of things you wanted to say but they weren't getting heard. Yeah. And this is happening in April. This was a very, uh, this could have been someone you were in a marriage with, uh, common law, you were with for a long time. They could have been your soulmate, your twin flame. If it was a romantic relationship, if it's a romantic relationship, if it was a partnership and friendship, it was just like you were doing most of the work. So it's like, why even have them in there um, getting all the credit when you were doing all the work kind of thing? Um, in a relationship now, in a romantic relationship, you just realize that like there's, you can't build, you, you know, it's been a lot of time and you, you've been trying your hardest and your best and you feel like you're not getting anywhere. There's like no reward after all this work. You're, you're building alone. You feel like you're alone and you're building alone in April. So this is probably why you decided to end it. And now it could be reversed. Your partner could feel this way about you. Like they're putting in all the work and effort and you're not. Uh, reverse it how it resonates. But that's definitely what I'm picking up for the month of April. An ending transformation. Closing out a cycle. Definitely putting something behind you, Aquarius, in April. Now let's see, let's get some advice cards for April. We have denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replaced it with the insight of awareness. It's for April, Aquarius. I acknowledge my fear, but I replaced it with the insight of awareness. I like that. This is how your person is thinking or feeling of you, feeling about you in the month of April. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. So this most definitely, um, the sleepless nights, the anxiety could be from your person. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. That makes sense in April. Uh, we have trust in, the di in divine purpose. This experience has divine meaning. Healing will come. Know that you are on a path of growth. Yes, yeah, sometimes, Aquarius, we outgrow people. We've learned our lessons. They've learned lessons from us. Everything that needed to be done is done. Then it's time to close out the cycle and move on to the next life lesson. Or, I mean, we learned so many lessons from friends, family, loved ones, right? Partnerships. <clears throat> Power. A very powerful Aquarius in April. Again, I feel like you will be doing, um, if you're not doing meditation already, trying that, uh, trying it out, yoga, um, getting in touch with yourself, you know, doing some inner work in April. Oh, a lot of self-love in April. Being very powerful of, of what you want and going after what you want in April.
Yeah. Not taking no for an answer here. Mm -hmm. You have an important life purpose involving communication and the arts. Please don't allow insecurities to hold you back. I will help you. Very beautiful message. That's for April. Okay, Aquarius. And I think that is it for April. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, that should be it for April. What did I do here? <laughs> I think I might have went over a couple of cards. Mm. It will all turn out. Every accident happens for a reason, right? Okay, so now we are on to May. Okay, for May we have the world. This is a travel card, but it's also a success card. This is closing out a cycle, you know, moving on into April, to, sorry, May. Let's see what my Aquariuses have going on for them in May of 2024. What do they need to know? Please get the clear messages for the month of May for Aquarius. Hmm. Okay, I feel like for some of my Aquariuses, you are traveling home. You're traveling back home. You might be visiting relatives. Um, there is definitely some travel here. It's like a, a new venture. New, I feel for some of my Aquariuses, you're traveling back in May to meet a new addition to the family. Perhaps a sibling is having, is having a baby or has had a baby, and you're going to see them for the first time in May. I also see for some of my Aquarius is just trying to do some soul searching. So you go on a trip, you're going to go on vacation, a trip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> for some of my Aquarius is, oh, this is not funny. Um, then you got to definitely come back and tell me the situation in may when it happens okay because this it looks like some chaos you're gonna go on a plane and some chaos is gonna break out like there is going to be but it, it don't get me wrong it's it's not bad it's like funny almost it's like a funny <clears throat> i don't know if it's your first time aquarius on the plane um but there is going to be a situation <laughs> on the plane when you travel in April and May, sorry. And um I get this feeling of you being like, oh my God. Like it, it's funny. It turns like everyone's safe. Everything's gonna be fine. But there is a situation, perhaps an argument, a misunderstanding on the plane that gets a little bit out of hand that um like just has you talking to your friends and relatives about this after? Like, can you believe this was said and done and this happened? And, um, yeah. I see you laughing about it after. I see laughter. I see it being, like, a, a big joke. But, you know, like, you're being like, seriously? You know, when I decide to take a trip? Because this trip is, like, for relaxation. It's for soul searching. It's to... Um, celebrate a new life in the family it's it's for healing it's for peace and tranquility and you're that's why you're taking this trip and in may there is just some kind of chaos on on the on the plane that you're like wow i thought my life was kind of like turbulent right now but you know what's going on here is <clears throat> is just insane it actually makes you feel this situation actually makes you feel a little bit better about some things that have gone on in your past month, in the past month for you. Okay. Yeah, please, uh, when you experience this Aquarius, come back and like put some comments. This is in May when you travel. Um, 
please come back and then give me some deets, okay? Because I can only see so much, right? Yeah, but it it looks like quite the experience. Ooh, <clears throat> someone might even get arrested on that flight. Yeah, maybe they've gone a little bit too far or something here. Oh boy, I hope you'll have to be like a witness. Yeah. There is something about needing to tell the truth or clarity Perhaps someone asks you, did you see this? You know, did you hear what this person said or seen something? Something about you hearing or seeing something on this flight. And having to tell truthfully what you've seen or heard. In May. For some of my Aquariuses uh, that are that are that have a new beginning, that are having a new beginning in May with somebody romantically, it's like you're going to be kind of bored at first, bored, regretful, um, feeling like this person isn't really compatible with you. You might meet someone on this trip in May, but. Uh, you're disappointed. They're not. You're not exactly. They're not exactly what you were expecting, like what you thought they were, and that makes you indecisive about even continuing to date. Mm. For you, for those of you who are still in a relationship in May with a past person, I feel like if you're taking this trip with this person to rekindle things, um, you're disappointed. You're regretful. Things do not go as planned. It's like it. It's the opposite of, of um, things growing deeper and getting better. Is kind of seeing things that you wish you didn't see, and having this time with this person it brings that out and makes you even more undecisive about going further and deeper into the relationship. Oh, so that's for May. Travel. Okay. We'll be traveling. I feel like it's somewhere hot. Yes. But let's get some advice cards here for the month of May. Yep. Okay. We have... Courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Damn. What's your person's thinking or feeling at this time in May? I'm afraid to contact you. Definitely a sense like there's got to be a break. There's some kind of breakup there from since uh, April, maybe even prior. For some, for a lot of my Aquariuses. Okay, um, we have 42. Your prayers are being answered. Your prayers are being received by the divine. Answers will come soon, although perhaps in forms you didn't expect. Mm. Now you could be 42. Um, and uh, by this month of May. 42 is some kind of significance there. Transformation could be 42 days. 42 days. <clears throat> I feel like it's 42 days after what it could be 42 days after what you pray for coming to fruition. <laughs> Surely there's no time or dates or anything like that, but I just got that strong feeling like. There's something you pray for, and it, and it feels like it's taking forever. 42 days. Mm. Healing. See? 
I really did sense that you're taking this trip to heal, to find yourself, to um, feel more connected to your loved ones, family. Yeah, and you're, and you're taking an opportunity to heal some kind of hurt and pain that you felt, a loss. And uh, let's see, you have a gift of working with young people, and your divine purpose involves helping, teaching, or parenting children. Yes. So I feel like, I really do feel like some of my queries are going to meet their niece, their nephews, and uh, they're really going to enjoy themselves. And just, you know, getting to know their niece and nephew. Uh, that's a strong, that's a strong one there. That's what I'm feeling in me. Okay, so that is that for me. <clears throat> Sorry, that's like my throat is, I don't know. We have June, July, and August next coming up. What do you have for my Aquariuses for the month of June? What do they need to know? This is crazy, but this is like healing. This is a wish fulfillment, the star, right? This is balance, balancing things. Let's see what it's, let's clarify the star for Aquarius. For the month of June 2024. <clears throat> the moon and the star. I feel like some of you are going to meet um, a soulmate. A very, a very important connection in the month of June. It's almost going to feel like a wish come true. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female. There also is a sign of Pisces here, particularly. There is something coming. There's something you're finding out in the month of June that causes a delay or disappointment. Let's see what that is. What is there's something delayed in the month of June? First, let's see what's hidden. First of all, in June, someone that you're romantically interested in or with is going to confess that they feel exactly the way you do. They're worried, they're, they're scared, they're um, unsure, and uh, maybe they're having doubts. And I don't know what it is, but this gives you some kind of happiness and comfort to know that you're not feeling that all alone. It's kind of like you're mirroring each other. Yeah, and it's like because of this information of them telling you that, hey, like, they know how you feel or they're feeling the same way, it helps you both to, like, conquer it together and, yeah, and heal and figure out how to get through it together. Because in the month of June... They just look so put together, like they're so sure and everything, but they actually confess to you, like, hey, they are having issues. I feel like it could be with commitment. Yeah. Or taking things to another committed level. This is being disappointed about something financially. Um, perhaps you're having a, a difficult time with finances in June. In June, there's going to be a difficulty in finances. Mm. 
-hmm. Some difficulty. You're going to be asking some advice in June about how you trust, about a relationship, a celebration. I feel like you're asking this person that, that you trust advice about if you should make things a little bit more committed in the relationship that you are currently going to be in in June. It could be about a proposal or a marriage. It's definitely something uh, to celebrate. You might be talking about, uh, you know, um, marriage, future plans with somebody, but you're ask it's more like you're asking advice about your relationship in June. Okay. Now I'm gonna give some grab some cards for June. Definitely some healing and a possible wish for payment there. Well for June coming in. A lot of wishes coming true. Love. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. Mm. For the month of June, what your person is thinking for the month of June. I want you. They want you, Aquarius. In the month of June. Be honest with yourself. All your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. Accept your truth. Then let Source take it from there. I really do feel like someone's struggling with commitment in the month of June. Maybe getting cold feet. Nature. I feel like nature can help in the month of June, uh, doing a little bit of traveling in the forest, like, you know, being around nature, yeah, hikes, walks, biking, ooh, a new romance is imminent either with a newcomer or through a reignited passion in your existing relationship, be open to giving and receiving love. See, that's what I was picking up with the star is you're both going to get very honest with each other if you're in a for those of my queries that are in a relationship in june and it's going to bring your connection so much deeper and closer yeah i feel so much more connected after this intense heart-to-heart -heart conversation okay it says your deepest desires constrain you let them go to clear your mind Sometimes we get tempted, yeah? Beautiful card. Okay, y'all. Oh, I may have gone too far. <laughs> For July. For July, we have the devil. For you, Aquarius, okay? Now, this could be that you're overindulging too much in certain foods, drinks, uh, smoking too much. This could be doing something and, and not like in, in you're not doing something in moderation you're overdoing it kind of thing you know need the need to do something in moderation this could be addiction drugs alcohol cigarettes um food certain foods you shouldn't be eating let's clarify for the month of july for my aquarius is what can you tell us what do we need to know Lust, obsession. Be very careful. And your partner could be sharing um, sharing their affection to more than you. Or you could be tempted to share your affection to more than one person. Mm -hmm. I see like the need to heal something. Um, someone might have very obsessive feelings uh for you in the month of july it could be very lustful in the month of july
to get tempted in the month of July. Mm -hmm. I feel like for some, you might be traveling away from uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in the month of July, or they could be um, leaving you. I'm getting that you feel like this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is too clingy. Like that just feels like this, I'm feeling this mothering relationship. Yeah, I feel like in the month of July, you might have to put up boundaries. You might cut or block or delete or break up with this person in July. Um, yeah. You might be going to, from that travel two months back, and it could be a long, a long distance love affair, and it's just not working out for you anymore, Aquarius month of July. I feel definitely like two, three energies uh, coming around you in the month of July. This might, this, this feels definitely like temptation for me, Aquarius. Some kind of temptation for you or your person. And if you are single in the month of July, for some of my Aquarius that are single in the month of July, this is like multiple energies. This is air, earth, and fire all trying to get to you, trying to be with you. Three different energies. Mm. And they want you. So a lot of passion, desire, lust. Obsession even in July. Can't wait to see what the advice cards give for that one. Let's dig in. Your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and mind. See, I do feel like somebody might cross the line here in July. <clears throat> one moment, please. <clears throat> 